And I'm back again. Uh, I found a Torb um, one here that I guess I'm going to do. Uh, I didn't watch all the way to the end, but I saw I watched a good part of it, and I I saw some things that I think I can uh, hopefully help you with here. Make suggestions about anyway. Um, I don't know. Again, Torb isn't a character I play that much, so I don't feel like I can necessarily give you an expert analysis. But there are some things that I want to point out, I guess. So here we go. Let's just let this roll. And you had some confusion. Uh, you went for the er, you know, the uh, upfront turret here, and I think that's a good idea. You know, I, I it's always good to build, try to build some early alt charge if you can. So why not, right? Show them what you can do. Shut down for a reason. Maybe it's best to stay. You run over here. And the high ground, you know, generally speaking, I think in the game, high ground is better. So I'm not sure why you went back down again here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you felt you had a better angle there or something. But generally speaking, I think high, high ground is, is considered the better place to be. And this tracer comes and... I like how you dropped the turret there, even though it didn't didn't get her. Um, one thing I want to point out here. Let me let me see if I can back this up. I and I I hope this isn't offensive. I hope uh, I, I'm just really thinking this is something you don't know here. Let me see if uh, if I can get this to play here. Now I got I gotta click it so. I gotta do that and then this. I want to try to point this out r real quick here. If I can, let me see. Does this pause it? No, nope, that doesn't pause it either. Okay, right there. Okay. <laughs> do you see this right here? That stuff right there. Let me make this. Let me change the size here. Go for this size. This size. Um. That, that glowing stuff with the arrows pointing down to it, this right here, that's scrap. I, I, I'm assuming you don't know this because as you'll see later, I see this a lot when you play Torb and as you'll see later in this match, um, it's laying around and you're not picking it up. All you do is, you know, it happens when people die on your team. So you just died and now there's scrap there. I think it might even happen when people on the enemy team die too. I'm not sure, but in any case, it happens when people die. That's how that increases the rate at which you produce armor. If you run over that, you collect it. I only mention that because I frequently see it laying around and you're not picking it up. I'll, I'll show you later in uh, this video. I've noticed you don't pick it up. Those gear-looking things. That was cool, though, how you, at least you tried to drop that turret there. That was that was quick thinking. And then you switch over to Ryan here. A little indecision, I guess. You know what? We'll go to shield. Just us. We're going to hold him back. Okay, and let's see here. Let's pause this right here, even. Okay, look at the kill feed here. Mercy died, Diva got demacked and then killed. So there's at least two of your team dead already. Now let's see. Watch when you turn this corner. See there, here they are, right here. You can see them on the field, on the battlefield. There, dead too. Watch when you turn this corner. Okay, right there. There's three of them. Arissa died too. So there's three of your team dead and. Literally, I don't see anybody else from your team here. So this is kind of a pattern. You know, we saw this in the other video too, where you're you're going to the point by yourself, basically. Now there could be some of your team up here that we can't see, but I don't think there is. <laughs> Let's see. I heard somebody fired. See, I don't see anybody up there. No, no chevrons. So it, basically, I think you're going in here by yourself again. And here we go. I, probably guess what the result's going to be. There's basically their whole team there. Now, once you get blown back here, there was, I think, an Arissa. Yeah, Arissa was coming up behind you. 
But you oh, were basi we go basically basically you were going in yourself there. So yeah, I think you, that's some, now okay. Now let's stop this here. Now now there's three of your team is up ahead, and this this guy's just leaving the spawn room. Basically, it looks like four of them. That might be another chevron there. So yeah, that's just something to be aware of when you're coming out of the spawn room is where the rest of your team is. It seems like you like you have trouble with that a lot. Yeah, see that was another chevron. So your whole one of your team just died, and there's the rest of them right there. So, going back to tour. Going back to tour. Just stick it out. Just stick it out. That's fine. I, I got no problem with that. You know. Either way, whatever works Shut for up. you. So. Okay, right here. Do you see all this stuff? Right there. Right there. Right there. Even this thing right here that's on the other it's pointing at something on the other side of here. That all that is scrap. If you pick that up, if you run over it, you, you build your armor faster. See how this thing's showing the scrap? And that's what it looks like, the little gear thing. That's what it looks like. It's got these arrows pointing down and then it's like gears that are glowing. I notice that you just seldom ever seem to pay any attention to that. Maybe you didn't know that that's what that was, so I wanted to point that out. So this is good. This is good. Let me let me point this out real quick. I think this is good positioning. This is good turret placement. You know, in in terms of where you are. I mean, the the payload is basically right here, right? The payload is right there, and just coming up that hill there. So I like this where where you're placing this tur turret here. A little later in this match, I I don't know if it's because you got frustrated or something, but you start you start putting the turret way back. Like to the point where, and not only is the turret way back, but then you run back even further behind the turret to the point where you're basically out of the fight at that point. I, I'll show you when that happens, but um, here comes this nonsense again. But let's just let this run now. See, you, you started to head for the scrap there. I thought you were going to go for it, and, you, and then you didn't. You turned away. Like you're going to chase this tracer down or something, I guess, but who knows what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. This is all good. You know, I got nothing wrong. Except for the fact that you're not going for that scrap. See, all those, all these, all those white, um, let me see if I can get a better view of it here. Nah, you're looking the wrong way, but. There. There's a perfect view of it right there. Look, there's scrap there, there, there there there's two of them there there's one there now granted they're moving in here with the payload now but i mean all that is scrap you'd be picking up that would that would fill up your uh um your armor faster but again it, it could be risky here no but it's not though see there's nobody there there's just your team there and that scrap is just laying around <laughs> I, 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 I can only assume that you didn't know that because, I mean, it's literally just sitting right there for you to pick up. There, see, you picked that one up, but I don't I don't think you did it intentionally. It's like when you get close enough to it, it just literally just, like, sucks into you and you pick it up. Oops, I muted it by accident. Yeah, so it's... And that confirmed it, too, because that was the enemy tracer died and she drops it, too. So both sides, when they die, drop scrap. I, I, I dig that. You got away from your turret. The, the tire was coming in. That was good. That way, just your turret died. Not you and your turret. Now, here's one thing I want to point out that maybe is nitpicky. And I, you know, forgive me if it is, but you don't seem to be using your right click. I mean, that that Zen was, was you know, right in your face. And you're still trying to hit him with the left click. If you'd use the right click right there, it's basically like Roadhog's gun, man. You, it's like a mini roadhog gun. If you were to use that scatter shot there, I'm sure you would have taken him out. And hold on, did you get him anyway? You did. You got him anyway. So good enough. I'm just saying you could use that scatter shot gun in the close quarters, and you know probably have pretty good results with it. A lot of scrap laying around there, but this is the heat of battle too now. So 
Sometimes it's, it's it's in risky places and it's not worth going after, I don't think. But you had a lot of opportunities there, it seemed like. And that was pretty hectic. I, I can't, can't really call it anything bad there. You just died, man. It happens, you know? <laughs> okay. So let's see. I think this is now where you're going to put the turret in what I, I consider a questionable spot. And then and then you even back off even further. See, you start going over here. I'm like, yeah, this is... Let's just look at this. Let's stop this for a minute. Let's see. Can we get a better place here? I mean, let's see. Let's get a better view of what's going on right here. Okay. Look at this. The payload is on the other side of this stuff over here. That's almost too big. Can I get the smaller size, please? Yeah, the payload is on the other side of this stuff over here. So y your turret has no line of sight, basically, on, on the payload. Uh, your team, you know, there's one of them. There's one of them. There's one of them. Here's Orissa. You know, they're all basically on the other side of all this stuff, too. So, I mean, your turret is, is way back here. I, I question that placement there. Um, let's go. Keep going here. There's more scrap laying around. And then you're staying basically behind. Okay, you're moving up now a little bit. And now you're moving it. That's good. I think you realized maybe that it was... And there's the... Whoops, gosh darn it. There's the scrap again. You know, there's there's two pieces there. There's some over here too, but you know, who knows? That that could be in a danger area. But this stuff is literally like right in front of you. Okay. I've probably said more of that than I should. Okay. I think that's good. You moved it. Better positioning there. You got line of sight now on the on the payload. But now you do this. <laughs> this strikes me as being a little bit on the timid side or something, you know? Being this far back. I mean, yeah, you are still lobbing stuff over there. I'll give you that. You know, you're still lobbing your stuff over there. It's just, I don't know, man. You know, the rest of your team is basically up there fighting on the payload, and I, I, I'm not sure that this is, you know, that's the most effective positioning there. Now that's good. I want to I, I want to point that out actually. You know, you molten cored when you had a, a level two turret up. I think you almost have to do that because you know that's the biggest part of that alt is that turret going to level three and the damage that it does. Of course, your gun I believe does does more damage too. But I think as much as possible you have to have that level two, two turret up when you alt. Man, it's it's so much a part of that. You know, plus it gets all this extra. Uh, hit points you know it goes up to 800 hit points so as much as you'll, you'll notice a little later here you do one without even any turret up i think maybe you had a level one but i don't even think you had a level one up but i think that's just really sucking the life out of your alt you know if you if you can you have to have a level two turret up when you alt. not bad not horrible aiming here yeah you know you're, you're aiming to some pretty good spots there i think Now this, it might be time to consider that I think maybe your team is dead here. Uh, here I see two people coming th from spawn here. I don't know where the rest of them are. Let's see if we get a if you turn. Oh, there's three people coming from spawn there. Basically, yeah, pretty sure the rest of your team was dead there. So that's good. You backed off. You got out of it. In any case. I think maybe actually you already did that alt that, uh, when you didn't have a turret up. Or maybe it was in a previous game. I watched a couple couple rounds here. I'm not sure. I might have missed it. Okay, there you are shooting the ground. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, nice, nice, but you didn't pick it up. You, you could have used that armor for yourself there. You're pretty low on health. Okay, Mercy's, Mercy's getting you there. Uh, nice, you got that turret up. Nice, I like the placement. That's that's good placement, I think. It's got line of sight on the payload. You know? There you go, get away from it. I think that's smart. 
now, yeah, the, 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 the aim, the shooting is a little, a little wild and crazy, you know. Obviously, there's you're not, you don't see anything, and you're just kind of just shooting. Now that's better. So you're shooting into. I like that because you're you're literally shooting into that lane where they're going to be coming right there. See that that makes more sense. You were shooting into this lane, which is like right on the side of the payload. I like that. Even though you can't, you don't have line of sight. It's it's kind of like junk rat spam. You know, you're uh, like it's like suppressing fire. I like that. That's that's cool. This other stuff where you're just kind of randomly shooting around. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, 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 I'm kind of torn on that one, but okay. Let's see what happens. I didn't watch the end of this one again, so I don't, I don't know how it ends. There you go. So you picked up scrap, Victory. and you won. Okay, you won. Good. You won that one. Anyway, I just wanted to point out a few of those things there. I think I got to play of the play game. Of the no, game. I should have got to play of the game with all those. <laughs> Yeah, play the game here anyway. Um, yeah, I, I mean, again, I'm not a Torb expert by any means, but I just wanted to point point out a couple things there. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how much of a help those those things will be. They weren't maybe... Uh, eh, I don't know. I, I, I still think they could make a difference. So um, I don't know if I'll post this one or not. I think it's probably shorter than the other one. But some of those points there I think are pretty good to remember, like um, uh, alting when you have a level 2 turret up. I mean, if you have... I, I've seen you do it several times when you have no turret up. And that's, oof, that's you know, like probably the worst scenario. But if you have a level 1 up, at least you can try to bang on it, you know. Um, so anyway, I think that's probably a good idea. Picking up scrap if you can. And just... Just maybe, you know, being a little more purposeful with your aim sometimes. Sometimes it seems like you're just kind of, you know, I don't know. Maybe not being as purposeful or something. Anyway, I think that's enough of that. Good luck, man.